Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion 2, Dark Moon. Last time, we had double the trouble with two toads needing to be rescued from the treacherous mansion. And in this episode, we have a train to catch in mission E-3. The toad curators brought a security camera image back with them. Maybe it'll give us some clues of the next Dark Moon piece. Well, I hope so, and I hope this train isn't running on European time, because those trains are always late. Okie dokie, that's good to know. Alright. Uh oh. Well, let's look. The train exhibit. Why does this mansion have a train exhibit? All right. Anything on my bro? No? What about this fellow? How'd you do that? King Boo, the master of illusions. Well, this makes sense, but I thought King Boo was trapped in the portrificationizer from the last game. Aww. Yeah, I know, it's unbelievable. Aww. He captured Mario first, and not the one who stopped him last time. Aww. All right. So, inside the train exhibit, eh? <laughs> so, looks like we're retreading old ground, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta rescue Mario. Do you have, a, do you have the Poltergeist 3000 with you? I mean, Mario could get the downgraded one, Luigi gets to keep the upgraded one. Actually, no, you have two Poltergeist 5000s, I realize that. I love what it's made out of. It's made out of rotten wood and what looks like a spade. All right, so let's go. Now this mission's a little bit more, s less straightforward, but it's gonna involve a lot of mo room maneuvering, to say the least. All right, so here we are at the front entrance. So activate the inner stairwell and the inner courtyard. So as you can see, there are two more Elven gates around here. And if we look inside the courtyard, there's a place for us to put the rotor that Professor E. Gad gave us. Now, this mission is actually going to be the final mission, if I do it all correctly, that we end up getting ourselves all of the remaining gems in the treacherous mansion. So, hopefully, I manage to do this right, because a lot of this requires trial and error with the uh, balloon berries that we're gonna have to deal with in the game. So, let us head over to where the rotor is. And if you so want to, you could take the bucket from the Dark Age exhibit and go and get some. You can get the gems that you got that you got previously in the other missions. I'm just doing them in the mission that they're available based on my notes because it makes it easier. Plus, also, that way I don't have to do another episode like I did that one episode uh, 
when I was doing gradual infil infiltration. So, let's put on the rotor. It's made out of two wrenches. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. So now Egad's gonna tell us how this thing works. Oh. Yellow. Hmm. All right, so we gotta head to the train exhibit, but Roxas wants to kind of explore. So as you can see, it perfectly uh, fits into place whichever one you end up doing. And now while we have to go to the train exhibit, Roxas wants to explore a bit. Welcome to the West Corridor. Home to many things, such as the aviation exhibit. Good, I made the right choice. Because if we pull one of these sandbags, we get a super hider and some greenies. Right. Let's grab this greenie. And there we go. Pull down this second one and reveal the star gem. Oddly enough, not in the Ice Age exhibit when we made a giant star in the sky. All right. So that takes care of this room. There is no elven gate inside the aviation room. And keep the aviation room in mind for another mission later on because you're going to need it. Oh, goopies. Goopies. I see you there, Goopy. You're not Goomy, my lord and savior, so you must die for that. It's a good thing I noticed the purple tint there before I walk right into another Goopy. A Gooper. Or whatever their name is. That. Get me out. Made two Goopies. There we go. Oh yeah. And that clears that up. So let us go inside here where there is an elven gate for us in the space exhibit. So pull this to reveal an elven gate. Now I don't believe that there are any gems inside here. Let me check my notes real quick. Does not look like it. Okay. Gonna just grab some coins here. Let's pull this rocket. A goldie, eh? Well, what if we look through the telescope? Well then. What? The Mario universe has a blue sun? Or a blue star? Yeesh. The thing must give off intense heat and gravity. Hmm. No wonder there's so many desert worlds inside this place. Anything around here? Well, I think I know how to get that Goldie. I think you have to get the log from the previous. Hello, spiders. Get over here. I think you need to get the logs from the previous ones to do that. But, hmm, seems we can go down right here. I wonder what's inside over here. The terrace, huh? That looks ominous, to say the least. Oh. Hmm, interesting. But, let us continue on our sidetracking adventure. It wouldn't be a Roxas 1359 game unless I did this. Or a Roxas 1359 LP, I should say. Going right here. To the Dark Age exhibit. Where we can get a balloon berry. If Roxas can get it. I can't seem to get the balloon berry. I need this. Come 
on, give me the balloon berry. I can't get the balloon berry. I think I need this one too. <sighs> Dang it. Do I need this one? No, I don't need that one. Okay. That's good. I don't need that balloon berry. What the? Well then, hello, book. Hello, Balloonberry. Interesting that we've got those right there. If you remember, inside the Dark Age exhibit, there was a area that was missing a book. So we found the missing book. It's inside the main area right there. So we'll have to get that in due time. But let's actually, you know, go and do the mission now. For a brief time. All right, and... There we go. Now let us climb up the stairs because Luigi does in fact know how to stare. Unlike toads. Silly toads. Well, the train exhibit's over this way, so why don't we... Of course. It's never that simple. What would make you think it would be that simple? Okay, Golden Bone, I'll take that with gusto. Any Slimers in here? No. What about anything on the east balcony? It looks like we got a Golden Frog. A couple Golden Frogs. And a door right there. Interesting. Hmm. Those frogs look like they're made out of solid gold. That's that's concerning. I wonder, can I look through right here? No. Okay. Any f Hello, Egad Sound. Um Why'd you play? Slimer! No! Slimer! No! Slimer! Bad! Bad! Bad Goopy! Let me go, Goopy. There we go. Takes care of you. And now for this Goopy. Into my vacuum, Goopy. Yeah. There we go. That deals with that. So if I want to get to the train exhibit, I need to do some finagling. But let's go first into the nautical exhibit. Well then, that's interesting. But it looks like we can't deal with anything inside here just yet. So let us... Whoa, the, s the screen was still shaking. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go inside here to the study. To where there are balloon plants. So nothing right there. But if we look inside right here... The train exhibit. Closed off and creepy. No pressure. All right. So hopefully I'm not too loud because right now on my... Um, oh no, I think I know what this is detecting. I think the microphone's not detecting one thing or another. Which means, let's check the audacity real quick. Okay, the audacity is still recording. Good, good, good. Had to make sure about that. Okay, close that. 
get rid of all the fog. And take care of this super slammer. to deal with him. Wait, a regular greenie. Huh, wasn't expecting this. Okay, I'm starting to really get a little bit seasick here. There we go. Deals with that. And we've got the Elven Gate, so that frees that up. But you might notice there's something right here. If you step on it, there would be a chest. But we have nothing to be able to do that just yet. So first things first, now that all the Elven Gates are active, let us go get ourselves first a log. Perfect. Health, need, needed that. Grab ourselves some logs. Head on through. Now we head on over to the nautical exhibit. Slowly but surely. And put the log on right here. Do that. You reveal a door. This door will lead us to the rest of the ship. Some crows. But more importantly, our next diamond. Diamond number eight. No, that's diamond number nine. I already got diamond number eight in the aviation exhibit. My mistake. So next up, we are going to... Spin this wheel. Yeah. To put that right there. And we're going to get ourselves a balloon berry. This is where a lot of the gems are going to come into play. So, balloon berry. As you can see, the book is right there, so we can do that right now. But, we are going to go upward. Get rid of that. Get the book to come down. Balloon berry up and down. And grab this book, and we're going to take it over into here. The Dark Age exhibit. Inside the Dark Age exhibit, we put the book in to reveal diamond number 10. All right, so next we need to go back into the study because we are going to now do one of the more difficult ones provided I do this balloon berry correctly. All right, and don't, I need to not forget about the boo too. So next up, we're gonna go into the jungle exhibit. Blow this up. Once we get to the top, there's a gold balloon berry. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna get rid of this before. I think these crows infinitely spawn. Okay. So, go right here to a gold balloon berry. Okay. 
Get it correctly. Get them all. And a chest huh? appears. No! Okay, I got lucky. Whew, for a second I thought that wasn't gonna count. Cause that crow hit me. Right? And get this. Open this up. And you get diamond number 11. All right, so we're not done with this balloon uh, shenanigans just yet. We got a couple more balloon berries to do. And by couple, I mean one more. Uh, I already have the balloon berry, so I might as well just go and take this one to where we need to go, which is the Ice Age exhibit. Now, if I do this wrong, I'm going to cry because this is literally the last of the main gems. All right? As you can notice, the mammoth is gone. And there's air conditioning everywhere. Well, if we fly over this way, there's another gold balloon berry. There we go. Get all of them. And a chest appears. So, fly on over this way to where we will go to get ourselves gem number 12. That makes 12 of the 13 gems. So, now, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go and get the boo. So, let me bring up the boo. Okay, we're not done with the balloon shenanigans just yet. Remember that gold one I saw earlier? We're gonna need to use that one to get the boo. <sighs> Dang it, I having to do this. Because if I screw up, then I lose out on getting the boo. So. There we go. And that chest is gonna contain our boo. So, grab that, open this up, and who is it? None other than boo This mansion is now under the ownership of King Boo, Esquire. Well, why Esquire? He's, he's a king. I take it you have the proper credentials to be here, including ID and a mansion roaming license. No? That's unfortunate. You'll have to be penalized. Oh, that's a shame. Um, you know what else? I think you're gonna have to be penalized as well, Mr. Boo. You don't have a roaming license either. And for that, you must pay the ultimate price. Pain! And one last time. Hey! There we go. And Boorocrat is ours. That deals with that which means there are only two boos left in the game and no more gems, ladies and gentlemen. We are done with the gems completely. Stop trying to kill me, armored knights, please. So, everything's all active, all the gems are collected, and there are two boos that remain. So, let us get ourselves the book. Put it on in. 
Wait, no, we don't have all the gems oh, yeah. yet. We're missing one gem. Yeah. Wow. Oh. 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 Mm. Hello. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh. 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 Well, great. <sighs> so now we gotta follow him. But first things first, Egad. This is gonna be another long episode, I can tell. Can't Luigi just take a hammer, like a sledgehammer, and just pound down the wall? That seems like a n nice thing to do at this point. You brilliantly designed piece. You brilliantly designed mm -hmm. junk. I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's on the west side. Mm. Well, it's a good thing we've already cleared out the west side, and I know a shortcut. This is the room that he's in. So if you look through the telescope, we will see there he is. His evil book and all. And gyroscope going out of control. Hands shake. Can't stop. Stop hands. Sorry, I, I can't stop my hands. Hmm. What the? Running out of stars. It's times like this, I really wish I could. You're running out of stars, buddy. There he is. Uh-oh. That's not fair. Oh, those are bombs. 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 Those are beetles. I mean, those are bombs. Bombs and beetles. Bombing beetles. There we go. Dang it, got hit. I got hit twice? All right, are we going to, we got bombs. We have beetles. We have bombing beetles. Better step away from the bombs. There we go. That catches him. And reveals the book. That was easy. Good thing I made this shortcut earlier. Otherwise, we would have had to change the entire direction of that staircase twice in order to get back. So, let us put this inside where it needs to go to reveal the door 
to where we need to go, where our final gem will be located. As you can notice, there's some track missing and some sneakers. Dick. Oh, a hider. Sneaker? No, get that sneaker back here. Okay, now for you, Mr. Hyda. And now for the second Hyda. And there we go. Oh yeah. So we revealed the tracks. And now that we've revealed the tracks, the train comes. Choo choo, baby. Choo choo. Luigi wants to ride the train. In the tunnel we go. Huh? And when we come back, we get gem 13. That is all the gems inside of this train. Anyway, hit that to reveal dollar dollar bills all year round. So, let's look inside to see what we can find. There's our brother. Well, what do we do? I mean, Mario's in there, but he's all tiny. Oh. Hello? Mm-hmm. Yep, found his photo. Mm-hmm. An idea mm -hmm. percol a percolating. Huh. What is this idea, Egad? Please inform me. Mm-hmm. Alright. Ciao. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yes. Mission complete. I did it. With that, we have collected every single gem within the game. I spent 26 minutes in that mission. This is a one star. This has to be a one star. Still a two star. Still a two star. Why did I get a one star inside the secret mine? This should be a one star. I spent 26 minutes. Uh, I bet people are loving these extra long episodes of Luigi's Mansion 2 Dark Moon, especially because I'm going after 100% in the game. Which is very close at hand, ladies and gentlemen. We are very close to having 100% in the game. We only have two boos left. And one of them, in the next mission, is a boss. Well, I hope so, Egad. Yeah, Peach would probably buy it. Or Bowser. Or Wario. You know what? I see Wario owning it and putting it in his living room. It's not funny, Egad. It's not funny. That's my brother. So, let's empty the Poltergust. Where we got ourselves a whopping... I think we got eight gems. Three, four, five... Six? Okay, only six gems. That's still quite a bit of gems that we got inside this mission. Got ourselves a new poltergeist. Got ourselves a new boo. And more useless treasure. There we go. Yeah. 
Not really, I kind of just looked at my brother. Wait, but isn't that like a model pixelator? Who says that? Who honestly says that? So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A train to catch complete. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359. Next time, we're going to conduct an ambush maneuver. See you guys next time.